This is a wonderful product and I've had great success with it. But if you read the installation instructions, uh, not so much. In this video, I'm going to show you the way I do it and I consider it far more superior and you'll enjoy these lenses a lot more. Let's start out with a few hints. If you're purchasing these HydroTech lenses for sunglasses, keep in mind that the sunglasses take a little light away from the party, so kick it up a notch. If you're used to 200s, go to 250s and so on. Next, when you open these HydroTech lenses, you'll notice they have a natural curve to them. Don't fight this curve. Install these lenses so this natural curve matches the natural curve of the glasses you're installing them on. I am assuming you're installing these lenses for close-up vision, like in reading, as I do. That being the case, there's a number of things we want to take into consideration before we get started. First, we want to minimize the size of these stick-on lenses so we can easily see over the top of them for our normal distance vision. Secondly, we want to minimize the distraction as a result of the edges of the viewing area of these stick-on lenses. Lastly, keeping in mind that when you're doing close-up vision, your eyes narrow or become more cross as you focus in on things closer. This being the case, we want to mount these things as close to the center edge of the glasses as we can. So the objective is to get these HydroTac lenses installed on the lower inside corners of your glasses. And here's how we do that. We start by making a template out of a light gauge cardboard that'll actually fit right in that inside edge of the glasses. I recommend we start with a brand new single edge razor blade because this HydroTac lens is a very tough material and it'll be good for cutting both the template and the lens itself. First, note that the lens has this beautiful factory cut on the top edge. That will be the top edge of our lens. It cuts on, down on the distractions while looking over the top of this lens for distance viewing. Start the template process by placing the lens itself in that bottom or inside corner of the glasses and get an idea of how high that top edge is going to be. This process is kind of a balance between personal preference and maximizing the width of the lens along the bottom edge of the glasses. Now cut and trim your template so as to keep it tucked in that lower inside corner with the top edge as straight along the line of sight as you can possibly get it. And also note that the template is cut so that the bottom edge is laying just inside the perimeter of the glasses they're being installed on. Once we have the template fitted perfectly, we're going to set it on top of the actual HydroTac lens and start the cutting. The good news is once you've made a template, It'll work for the other side as well. Just flip it over. Line up the template top edge with the factory cut top edge of the HydroTac lens and do all the cutting on the bottom edge of the template. A couple of hints for cutting this tough material that the lens is made out of. One, we want to make vertical cuts and we want to try and cut clear through the lens each time we make a stroke. Once we complete a rough cut, you can remove the template and you'll see that the lens has a few little sharp points. These sharp points need to be trimmed off to round out real nice on the bottom edge of the glasses you're installing them on. So there we have it. Pretty nice match. All the edges are rounded out real nice. Looks like we got a good cut. Now let's try laying our lens on the glass and see how it fits. Keep in mind, we preserved that natural curve of the glass. Looks good. Now let's start cutting the other side. Keep in mind the first side is a give me. If you happen to mistakenly forget about the curve of the lens, well, you can just use it on the other side. This time we must make sure that we have the curve of the lens matching the curve of the glasses when we cut it with the template. Once the second lens is cut, drop it into place and see how it looks. But before we go to the final step of floating these into position, I wanted to point out an important aspect. When you float these lenses into position, they need to be just inside the bottom edge of the glasses. This keeps them from being easily peeled off. The last step is floating the lenses onto the glasses, and I recommend you start by putting a little stopper in the sink because these lenses disappear in the water if you happen to drop them. But anyways, we take and soap down the glasses and the lens thoroughly and make sure both are very clean. 
We do this one lens at a time and we do it under very warm water. And as we rinse the soap from both the glasses and the lens, we slowly move the lens into that lower inside corner of the glasses and gently press the lens. Once the lens is set, we go on to the second lens and repeat the process. Once this is complete, we dab lightly the lens with a paper towel to remove excess water. Don't dab too hard, you'll move the lens. That's it, we should be finished. Check the lenses to make sure that there's no bubbles in the lenses and that the lenses edges do not extend over the frame of the glasses. If so, repeat the floating process. They should be clean with no bubbles and you're done. Before I conclude this video, I'd like to point out that these lenses will develop bubbles over time, especially in the first month after being installed. If they do, repeat the floating process or they will pop off and you will lose them. From here, get in the habit of cleaning your glasses normally, but gently. Do not use harsh chemicals on the lenses and avoid deliberately submerging the glasses in water. Enjoy your new lenses. I hope this video was useful to you.